hey guys so we're moving on to 1.3 okay so in 1.3 it says annex to b so we know we're going to be using the addendum shows the floor plan of one of the exhibition halls at nampo park which uh, with distances given in meters. Sorry, I'm like reading strangely here. Okay, let's just see. Okay, so this is my addendum, annex to B. We see the floor plan over here, right? There's some, I think these are little stalls or something like that. Okay, and various, it's like labeled, right? So we kind of know what's going on, but let's kind of just look at the question first and see what it says. So it says, determine the approximate distance from stand 14 to the nearest rolling door. Okay, so here's stand 14, right? And the nearest rolling door is this one, right? There's another one here, but that's like a bit further, right? It'd be closer to um, stand five. But stand 14, so basically we're kind of like going here. Okay, that's the distance we want to estimate. So it's probably, hmm, okay, so we know that it's definitely 4,5, right? Um, and that looks, let me just see, sort of, see what's going on here. You can just use a ruler. Obviously, it's not to scale, but it can help you get like an, a kind of understanding. So that says 1 comma 5, right? Um, so 1 comma 5 is 4 comma 5, and here's another 1 comma 5, right? If you measure between, that's basically the hallway, so that's about 3, right? So it's probably that's about 9, and then it's a little bit longer than 9. So if that's 4,5, we said that's this is also 4,5, right? The hallway or the corridor. And that's probably a little, it's probably a very little bit of a meter. So I'm going to probably say 9,1. You can say 9,2. You can say anything sort of around 9 to 9,5, right? So let's just make sure I'm labeling this correctly. So that's 1.3.1. Perfect. So I'm going to say it's probably about 9.1 meters, but you could probably say anywhere between 9 and 9.5, okay? They're just trying to see whether you kind of have a feel for the map, right? So if we know that that's 4,5, we measured that length, we realize it's the same length that that, so that means it's also kind of 4,5, and we see that there's a little distance in between the stall and the rolling door, so it's probably around about 9 meters, okay? That's just what they're trying to see whether you understand, okay? So, let's now look at 1.3.2. So, 1.3.2 says, says, measure the distance from the beginning of stand 10 to the end of stand 17, and hence determine to one decimal place the scale of this plan. Okay. So, it says, right, from the end of 10 to... Let's just see what it says again. The beginning of 10 to the end of 17. So it's basically, sorry, my rule is a bit broken, but let's see if it works. Yeah, it seems like it will do the job. Okay, so when I measure, right, that's 10, you see, and I'm going to 17. So if I measure this in centimeters, kind of looks like, looks like 16. 16.6 centimeters. That's what it kind of looks like for me, right? It kind of looks like 16.6. Let's just double check. 16.6. Yeah, I'm going to use 16.6. Okay, so we say from, so I'm just going to write this down, right? So I'm just going to say from 10, stall 10. 17, I'm saying that it is 16.6 centimeters. Okay, now in meters, what is that distance? So in meters, we have to add all of these 4.5s and then this 5 together. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to count how many 4.5s there are, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right, so you can just say 7 times 4.5 because that's the same as saying 4.5 plus 4.5 until you've done that 7 times plus 5. Okay. If you don't believe me, just go add all of them up and you'll see that it actually equals the same thing. So it is 36.5. Okay. 36.5. So we know from 10 to 17. So this is on the map. Right. And this is in reality. Okay, so the scale on the map, 16.6 centimeters, right? This distance that I just showed you here, 
with my ruler, my very strangely broken ruler, I snapped it the one time in a lecture, I think I was feeling quite stressed, um, is 16,6, right? And that equals 36.5 meters. So the ratio is this, right? Right, it's 16.6 centimeters to 36.5 meters. Now, often my students, when we look at these questions, they say, okay, should we just convert them into the same length? Right, so they're both in centimeters or they're both in meters. You can, but you don't have to, okay? So you can convert this into centimeters if you want to, just remembering that 100 centimeters equals one meter, right? But I'm just gonna keep it in, in centimeters equaling meters, but I want to make this one centimeter equals something in meters. Okay, that's what I want to find. Now, what's important with these questions, right, is they have asked us, right, to determine a scale, right? And when we do a scale, what happens is you generally say one centimeter is equal to something. Because some people, what they would do is they would just, or some students would just leave it like that. And that technically is correct, but it's not the most simplified version or the easiest way to actually understand it, right? So we want to do it as one centimeter equals a certain number of meters. So now, how do we get from 16.6 centimeters to one centimeter? We have to divide by 16.6. Importantly, in ratios, what we do to the one side, we have to do to the other side, okay? If we don't do that, then we actually are changing the question, okay? We're changing what they've given us. So what, if you do something to the one side and then you do it to the other side, what you've actually done is you've kept the ratio intact, okay? So let's just figure out what 36.5 divided by 16.6 equals, okay? So I'm getting... 2.1987, a lot of things, meters. So one centimeter is going to equal this many meters. But it's important that we read the question because remember we, I made that, area pre, that error previously where I didn't read correctly in the previous question. It says to one decimal place. So to one decimal place would be one centimeter equals 2.2 meters. Okay, that is what your final scale would be. Importantly, right, I just quickly glanced over at the memo, right, their distance was different to mine because I think there's, I put and I printed this out to change the size of this a little bit, okay, so the, the memo is slightly different because they saw this as much longer than I had measured with my ruler, but what, it doesn't matter because either way you would still do this whole process, right, you'd measure, you'd say this is how many meters it equals and then you'd get it into a form like this. Okay, so you can do the same thing. You can look at the memo. It's in the link attached to the video, but you would go about doing it the same way. Okay, so let's just go to the next question. Okay, so let's just look at that. It says the exhibitor's rate for a four by four stand, right? So basically that's a square, right? Because remember squares have the same size, same length sides. Stand is 22,942. Heck, it's expensive. Um, Cyril stated that he must pay exactly 25,000 Rand for stand 26, right? Verify showing all calculations whether this statement is valid. Okay, so let's just quickly write a 4x4 four four stand. It's not a 4x4 four four car, it's a 4x4 four four stand. Costs 22,942. Okay, that's how much we know. Okay, now let's go find stand 26 on this little sheet of ours okay so i got a highlighter highlighters are always handy to have because they really help you navigate things okay he has 26 there's oh there's my dude 26 oh i'm doing a terrible job here goodness okay there's 26 right so 26 we know is four meters long that way but it's 4,5 meters that way, right? So it's not a perfect square. Where does that 4,5 come from? Over there, right? It basically tells us that the length of all these sides is 4,5. So we know that the uh, stand 26, is it called stand? Yeah, stand 26 actually equals 4 times 4,5, okay? So what we have to figure out is how much he's actually gonna end up paying for 4 times 4.5 meters. Okay, so now you might be thinking, oh, goodness, I do not know how to go about that. But that's okay, right? Let's just convert this 4 times 4, right, which equals that, 
into, so four times four, let's just figure that out. So four times four, if we do area, right? So let's just remember area equals length times breadth, which in this case equals four times four, right? Because it's basically saying a stand size of four by four, that equals 16 meters squared. So that is the area of the stand. Okay, that's important. That's the area of a four by four stand. Okay, so what we want to figure out, which is the easiest way to do it, is what does one meter squared cost? That's what we want to figure out. And the way we do that is we say, okay, 16 meters squared costs us 22,942 rand. So what is one meter squared going to equal? Right? That's what we want to figure out. Remember, when we have a ratio... Um, what we do to the one side, we have to do to the other side. What do we do to 16 to get to 1? We divide it by 16, okay? So how do we get from this 22,942 to what it actually equals per meter squared? We would just divide it by 16. It's quite important. So we go 22,942, just remembering to make sure you don't make an error because I do that all the time, divided by 16. So... One meter squared equals 1,433 rand and 875 cents. You can round this off at this stage, but remember we can also just round off at the end, right? At the very end, like it said in the instructions, you can just round off final answers. So now I'm getting a bit squished on this page over here. So let me just, oh, I dropped things on the floor. It's all happening in the hood. Okay, <laughs> let me just move down so that you can see i'm just picking up my <coughs> ruler okay so now what we've done oh goodness sorry about that okay what we've done is we've figured out what one meter squared equals right so let's figure out what the area of stand 26 is okay the area of stand 26 we just said is four times 4.5 isn't it we just literally figured that out from our Appendix, right? Or not our appendix, our tendon, right? And our annexure. I don't know where appendix came from. Okay, so we've just figured that out. Okay, so let's put that into our calculator. Four times 4.5. Cool. It is 18 meters squared. Now, we know that the area of stand 26 is 18 meters squared, and we know that each meter squared costs us 1,433 rand and 8, 87, 875 cents. Okay, cool. So let's work out what it would cost, right? So the cost for stand 26, right, is 18 times 1, 4, 3, 3.875. Oh, goodness, my writing. Okay, let's put that into our calculator. 1, 4, 3, 3.875. Cool. Equals 25,000 Rand. 809.75. Okay, so that's how much it's going to cost him. Sorry about my bit, a bit of a strange eight going on there. But that's how much it's going to cost him, right? So we figured out how much it's going to cost him for the stand. But let's check if we've answered the question. So the question says verify showing all calculations whether the statement is valid. The statement was that he has to pay exactly 25000 So we know that 25809 is more than 25000 bar. No, not bar, right? 25,000. Sorry, I don't know where the bar came from. Cool. Right, so we know that this is bigger than this. So his statement is not valid. Not valid. Cyril needs to pay more money, right? He needs to pay 809 rand and 75 cents more. So that is that, and that is how we finish. Do you see? So it wasn't too difficult. We just had to be very methodical because it wasn't immediately obvious what we had to do. Okay, so that is the end of question 1.3. Let me just double check that's the case. Okay, perfect. We are now going to move on to question 2.